Nice. Will Pod. This is your host with the most, Will C. And today we have reoccurring guest, reoccurring host, Joe. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Some golf. Some golf snaps. Golf claps. Hey, yeah. Joe. Yo. What's up? <laughs> You're asking what I was doing. I was just fidgeting a bunch. Fidgeting. Yeah. Just like moving around. Okay. I've, I've been watching a lot. Of, obviously, I see myself like all day, every day now. Yeah. So I'm hitting so many videos, and. Uh, I just fidget so much, mm. which is a good thing, I guess. Got the energy. So today, it's a scorcher here in Buffalo, New York, and we're still out here because... It's gorgeous. Um, fresh air. Yeah, <laughs> fresh air. So feels like we're in Florida. We're like New Orleans, just breathing in the humidity. Plus upstairs, it's hot. Oh, I forgot how hot that... Plus I was just playing a game that... Brings my GPU up to like 160 degrees. So it's hot, 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 hot up there. <laughs> it's hot, 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 hot up there. Super hot. Super. So we just got back from Chicago, and I was telling Joe we should talk about Chicago, but we realized that we haven't even talked about our camping trip. Trip, trip, trip. Camping when was trip. It? Memorial Day. Yeah, Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. Which was incredible. It was a good time. So today we're going to talk fun. about the camping trip a bit and how, honestly, for me, it's like such a good reset. Mm -hmm. Especially being in nature. And then maybe next one we'll talk about Chicago. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that episode. And go watch the other ones if you haven't watched them already because they're fantastic. <laughs> it's good talks. Good they're talks. All, good time, all good talks. Yeah, definitely go watch um, Definitely go watch Nick Cooler's episode. Um, because we're going to have him and his wife back on hopefully this Sunday. So they'll be in the rotation here soon again. So, camping, where do we go? Lake Seneca or Seneca Lake? That's the real question. Does anybody know? <laughs> we'll never know. What is it actually called? It, I think it's Seneca Lake, I want to say. Of the Finger Lakes. Of the five Finger Lakes. It's How many are there? Do you know? Five. No, no. Like, where are the names? Oh, God. I know there's Seneca. Oh, no. I don't know the rest. The put, uh, on the spot. <clears throat> Are you there's, still um, younger? There's the thumb. There's the index. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> it goes like this, literally. <laughs> It's Seneca Lake. Um, I don't know. I gotta look it up. We got Lake Seneca. You gotta look it what up. What if there literally is Lake Seneca and then there's Seneca Lake? Oh, God. That'd be kind of crazy. That would be ridiculous. Hold so, on. camping is something that I really enjoy doing. I wish I could do it more. I love being outside. Um, anything to be outside is the greatest. If I had a garage right now, I would work outside. But oh, I there's 11 Finger Lakes. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> um,. I thought there was five, like a hand. I guess not. Well, there's there's 11, and then I'm sure there's like... Well, okay, so the 11, it says Candace. Oh, wow. I, I might not even try to say all these. You want me to do it? <laughs> yeah. I might butcher that. Is it Native American? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there are 11 finger lakes. Canadais, Canadaigua, Cayuga, Consus. Hemlock. Oh, Hemlock. Hemlock. <laughs> Shout out to Apex Legend. <laughs> Made by best, Epic Games. Best weapon. Oh, Hemlock is so good. Oh, boom, 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 boom. Yesterday I picked oh, yeah. it up. How'd that go? Yeah. Oh, wait, we'll talk more Playing about Apex? That. Yeah, yeah. Freaking sick. Nice. <laughs> um, hon, honey Honey. H-O-N-E-O-Y-E. -E. I don't know. Orisco. Owasco. Seneca. Scant, Scantilitis. Wow. Shout out to these names. <laughs> Skinny Napolis? No, that's not it. <laughs> Scant Scantinitis. The oh last one, Scantinitis. Hey. Oh, yeah. Let me know if you've been in the Finger Lakes. Let us know if you've been in the Finger Lakes, because we really enjoyed it. I went in there. It was beautiful. I'm not, I'll get to that story after. <laughs> so first day, we roll up. Uh. Right. How long was it drive, Joe? Um, I want to say it was... What, two hours? Three hours? Two and a half. Two and a half. Damn, it's kind of a long trip. <laughs> yeah. Two and a half hours. Um, how many cars did it take? Four cars. We got me, Joe, and Zan, and, and my Bronco. There was got, nine of us, right? Total? Yeah, nine of us. Zakaria and Brock and his Toyota Camry. Josh and Claire... In I don't know what car they have. 
Ford something. Something Ford. Slappy and Nikki in and Nikki's new Toyota RAV4 Trail something. It's 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 really it's an it's a really cool SUV. I think if I had to get an SUV and I wanted something a bit smaller, I would go for that. I, I think it's a great SUV, and it's cool. The the back mats integrate from the uh, the trunk floor mm. onto the back seat, so when you lay it down, it's completely rubberized. Yeah. Damn, that's good. Because I've been thinking about cutting some. Cause it's super cheap to get like the rubber. Yeah. So I'm like, I could just cut to fit for the. I'm pointing over here because. Broncos parked over here. <laughs> um, the back of it. So I'm like, dang, that's a good idea. Maybe I can cut and then like split the rubber like a quarter of the way so it has some bend to it and it can do that too. So I don't know. I've been thinking about it. And the whole back, you know, is carpet so I can just Velcro it easy on and off, easy on and off. So, yeah. You slept in yours yeah. though one night, right? Yeah, it was it was uh, brutal. What's that I yellow? Hate- that is, they did a, there was a windshield recall. <clears throat> so today I took it in and they, um, they had to change the adhesive or use some more adhesive or something for it. Oh my God. It's a very old, it's a very old recall. It, it wasn't an emergency one. It was like a, do it if you can. And yeah. It's, and it's all covered. So I'm like, they just put well. duct tape on there. Like, there you go. <laughs> no, like, here's your new adhesive. Just keep it on there. Ah! No, I got to keep it on there for like 24 hours or something like that. I don't know. Hmm. That's um, crazy. I slept in there. Yeah, it was a. Uh, that's why I hate camping in the summer. Cause even though that's when people love camping, I hate it. Cause it's, it's too hot. Stuffy. Well, it's too dang hot. I even had the windows cracked and everything. It's just too hot. And the I'm in my hammock. It was too hot. My hammock setup was amazing, but it was too hot still. Way too hot for me. And when did we go? Memorial Day weekend. What weekend? One? <clears throat> that's June. May. End of May. End of May. It's too hot, man. Damn. It was pretty hot. Yeah. Too hot for me. So much so that I, the first whole night it was raining, I was just in the rain in a tank top <laughs> and shorts. <laughs> no, in pants. One of those. In the, in the, um. In the pouring rain. Remember? The first night when I was cooking up, mm, we were yeah. all setting up, I was, it was just yeah. pouring rain. Yeah. And I was just walking around from fire back and everything. <laughs> we had a good group. It was a, it was a lot of fun. It was good. It so. Was good food. Just relaxing. Oh, um. Yeah. Getting to try out the tent camping for the first time in forever was fun and kind of figuring that out. Mm -hmm. The tent that I got, I like it actually. It's like just roomy enough. Mm -hmm. I just need to figure out like mud inside a little better. And then everything else was super good because that was crazy. It was between the the rain on the first day. The mud that comes, yeah. We had so much mud that first day. What we'll do is we'll just get you an extra, like a big size drop cloth. Yeah. <clears throat> and then you'll be good. That'll, that'll help you not track the mudded drop cloth action. Like, a, you know what I'm talking about? Like, we'll make like a real porch thing. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be set up. That'd be cool. You just wipe my feet off. Kick yeah, it off. But yeah, just take them off right there. Yeah, yeah. That's the best way to do it, I think. And people will use like those beds that pop up to here. Yeah. Instead of using a pad, so that might be, especially if you're going to be tent camping, that's yeah. probably the way to go. That's probably the way I would go personally if I wanted to, if I was driving. If I was just normal camping, I think that's what I would do. Well, um, the big reason we did this was to kind of test us out for a real backpacking trip, I guess, quote unquote. Yep, yep, yep. We're doing, a, we're doing just a normal hike, we're not through hiking. Through hiking is like go to point A to point B. We're hiking to a campsite, camping, and then hiking back out. Um, let's get turned back on. Hey, man, quiet down. That's crazy, cause no, you don't. You it don't got that fun. loud, or, or it got that hot inside already. <laughs> Ninety-one <laughs> new window, degrees. New windows coming in soon. Yeah, seriously, Jesus. All right, all right, it's fine. We'll be able to talk through it. Yeah. Like, did it pick it up last time? Did you know? Slightly, but I'll, I'll clear it up. No, no, no. Let me go turn it off real quick. It takes two seconds. You sure? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let me just hit the, the fan button. Okay. Is it mine? Is it not? Oh, it's not mine. Wow. I was going to say, there's no just way. Just knock, knock. There's hey. no way it went up five degrees in there that quickly. <laughs> that would I would have been be like, all right, you got to go. <laughs> this, this, this is wrecked. Oh, um, boy. <clears throat> so first day, what do we do? We cook. It feels like it's been so long, but it hasn't been. It's been like two weeks. Well, the area is wine. Like, there's a lot of wineries in the that's area. Right. Yeah, so we right. we first day, 
was Saturday we got in, right? Mm-hmm. It wasn't Friday. Saturday. Funny thing about that. Yeah, the whole time. I, me, Zan, Brock, Zakaria, did you? Joe. So that's we majority. Friday. No, and Josh and Claire. So that's seven out of nine people thought we were leaving on Friday when we're leaving on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> I literally was like, oh yeah, so what time are we leaving Friday? I took off work, all this stuff, and Slappy. We didn't pay goes, attention. Nope, hey. we're leaving on Saturday. <laughs> thank God he, thank God we said that. I'm like, all right, let's go. All packed up. Can you imagine if we went? <laughs> we're like, all right, we're here, Slappy. What's going on? Where's the Where's the campsite? Yeah, where, what lot are we in? I wonder if they would have noticed. We went to Back no, Acres. Back Acres. Back Acres campsites. Yeah, Lake Seneca, Seneca Lake, which. Uh, we got to get a water spot next time. Yeah. That was sweet. The spot that we had was a little weird. We were like, we were the first campsite next to next to the RV section. And these people were drilling <laughs> freaking <laughs> Someone made a new deck. decks. Someone made a whole deck for their freaking RV spot or uh, little lot area. A whole deck in the time that we were there. So they stay there. They have to for I guess they live extended there. time. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Live there or do they stay the summer? Get, they probably live there for like a month or something. I don't know how it works. That'd be a crazy life. It's no easy feat installing like a whole friggin' deck. Dude, yeah, in in a in a weekend too. I wonder if he had help. Yeah. That was nuts though. He's like Memorial Day weekend, I'm making a deck. Like I can understand like a small project to like you know, zone out and enjoy woodworking and stuff. A deck is not a small project. This thing was huge. <laughs> he was cutting to he was yeah. cutting to spec. It's like, damn, dude. It looked good. Yeah, it, did. They, it turned like, out they really well. They looked like they were living pretty good there. Yeah, yeah. They and had a nice, beautiful view of the lake. Yeah, the surrounding areas are nice, beautiful, friggin' yeah, living good, wine, cheap. All the wineries, all the farmland. All the all the uh, what are they Amish people? The Amish people. That's who they were, right? The Amish people. There were yeah, some. Yeah, yeah, the Amish yeah, people. There were some uh, Amish people. It was like an Amish town. The town over. Yeah, yeah. Because we drove past it, like the same Amish people like so many times. Dude, me and Zan lapped these Amish people because they were in their horse, horse and, and buggy, buggy thing. And I literally was like, damn, they literally moved nowhere. It was insane. Me and Zan went to a gas station and came back, and they went like maybe the quarter of the distance that it took us to go there and back. Talk about an wow. unproductive Dude. lifestyle. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's got that. <clears throat> Dude, traveling for them must suck. Yeah. Cause, like, I feel like all the other stuff, whatever, no power and all that, and that's just like your lifestyle. But then you have to go somewhere. Yeah. Imagine you're going to visit visit your Amish homie. Like, I'll be there in two hours. <laughs> Three hours. Imagine oh having God. to like get like a birth certificate as an Amish per- person. Like, I mean, you probably, yeah, everything is like at home and stuff, right? I I'm not really even sure how that works because they're still you know bound to the. They're still like, Americans yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Hey, Amish folk, you're not allowed to watch this, but if somehow you do, let, let us, us know. know. <laughs> yeah, let us know how it works. How does it work? Are you allowed to even watch this? <laughs> How are you watching this? I won't tell anyone. Anyways, so we went wine. So we go to this ghost infused winery. The first, oh, yeah, the yeah, first yeah, day. yeah, yeah. Um, beautiful. It was house, beautiful. Oh, supposedly man. Supposedly built in the 1700s. Yep. Um, and some of the owners died, and yep. this place is haunted, apparently. Um, it was part of the Underground, so underground Railroad. What do we do? We did a tasting? They call yeah, it a we flight. Did, a flight. Yeah, we did a flight. And um, that, that was good. Mine Some was, good wine. Mine was incredible. I did the dry reds. Absolutely incredible. Did you That's dry reds? Did, yeah. Oh. I, and I, honestly, I like the first one the best. Yeah, me yeah, too. That was amazing. Uh, yeah. It was, and that was the, like their signature one, I think. Yeah. That was awesome. Um, I but think, then it started pouring. We were, yeah, we were in like the eye you of guys a thunderstorm. Got, you guys got stuck yeah, me and Brock went down to the water because there was a, there's an outdoor bar that's like, um, what is it called? On when a pier? Yeah, yeah, it's a pier. Yeah, pier bar. It's a pier bar, and then it has docking po- points for boats, 
And you can see the pictures on my Instagram. It'll be in the description that box down below. Go follow that if you haven't already. And it was pristine. Like, it was so nice. Like, rocky beach type thing. No sand. Water was nice, beautiful. Little bit of trickling started coming in. We're like, oh, yeah, we're good. We're fine. We're taking tons of pictures. Seeing boats, like, light fixtures. All It was, like, looked amazing. And <laughs> then, like, that freaking <sighs> heavens opened up. It was insanely, Storm insanely came in so fast. Yeah, and downpouring. And there was a point where it was. I mean, it was raining for so long. Me and Brock were like, "All right, let's just leave. Let's just." We, so we just walked through it. And when I say walk through it, like it's a hill, like an eighth of a mile. Did you guys not, get nothing soaked, crazy. Like, yeah, yeah, we got drenched. Did I? And it's like the hill was almost forty-five degrees too. Did crazy. you change when we got back? Probably not. No. Yeah. I probably just threw on my wet tank top. <laughs> it did get sunny very quickly after. Yeah, it turned around pretty. That was the only day that was wet, right? Yeah. We had decent weather. It Even was good weather. I yeah. love the rain and camping, so I wasn't I wasn't mad at all. It was fun. Like I said, I was tank topping. I was chilling. I was so cold though in the bar, and I was like, "You Dude, were stuck down there." I'm like, yeah. "Zan, we gotta find a way to go get my coat because my coat was in your car." He's like, you could just, baby. he's like, you could just unlock it from his phone. I'm like, let's yeah. go. Fucking, Hell yeah. Please, 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 please. <laughs> it was cold and in I there. sprinted through the rain to get my coat. I remember he called me. He's like, open your car. Yeah. I'm like, all right. He's like, Joe's there now. I'm like, it's open. I hope. <laughs> it was, no, it was. It was perfect. Well, what's perfect is Ford Pass just came up with the update, which makes it so much faster. More That's responsive. what I used. Yeah, because before you had to press and hold, now you just have to press. And it's mm. like, bing, bing. I'm like, oh. So that was perfect. I was like, oh, Joe's there. Beep. It's perfect. It worked out. Yeah. Now mm -hmm. I got to figure out how to connect a dash, a rear and front dash cam to that app, open that up and be able to see it. Yeah. Whew, that'd, be that'd be cool. Like a remote feed. Mm-hmm. So we, um, after that, we just went back. We, we cooked food and I think just hung out for that night. Yeah. What did we eat that first night? Bergs? And hot yeah, dogs? Bergs. Bergs sausage and... And dogs. Yep. Burger, sausages, and dogs. That was good. And then it hit the spot. Honestly, they Josh and Claire left Sunday morning, right? Yeah, I don't even remember them leaving. Honestly, they left from the winery. No, winery was the first day. No, they did uh, from the trail. We from went the on trail. trail. Mm. Yeah, dang. So good we did thing a hike. Taking tons of pictures, man. What's that? It's a good thing I'm taking tons of pictures and video because... It's the only way to remember. Well, there, we, we're doing so much nowadays. Well, that, it was so funny you say that because when I was describing the, the story or the uh, trip to my parents, I was like scrolling through my photos to be mm -hmm. like, oh yeah, and we did this, we did that. It's really nice, yeah. But let's see. So, so yeah, the first day we got there, we did the winery. I got this funny video of Slappy cooking. <laughs> we went by the water and skipped a bunch of... Um, yeah things yep. and then we went by the water again later that night for the first time and we were like oh my god nighttime water is next level it's scary it was creepy what was creepy is brock goes i think it was the next night brock goes Did you guys hear that it's like a woman it's a woman crying and i'm like dude stop like that's crazy you can't you can't be doing, dude don't don't be doing that well the thing is means the carrier go Oh, to the left where the other campsite is? He goes, no, to the right where that, like, trail leads to nothing. Oh, And even Zakari was God. like, dude, you're joking, right? And he's like, no. And I'm like, all right, we got to go. <laughs> that was creepy. That was, oh, that was, you're that was right. Creepy. I remember yeah, yeah. that. That was creepy. Yeah, he was being weird. I was like, well, he was, no, he was, he was serious. Yeah. <laughs> he, he did his, like, whole, like, he did his, like, thing where he, like, brings his hands, like, up. I was like, oh, this guy's serious, dog. Like, <laughs> he's like, no, no, over there. I'm like, oh, oh we got to go. Yeah, that that's too much. Yeah. <laughs> so then we tried to wake up for the sunrise. <laughs> and Nugatore. that was just uh, I remember foggy. I literally didn't sleep till, I don't know what time, like four or something. God dang, those looked good. Oh, man. We ate very well on that trip, straight up. I'm. We, we, really we ate did. well and... We kept ourselves active enough where I came back and I was yeah we did well we I were moving heavy or anything so mm -hmm. these last couple of trips we've we've done really good with uh, just like fucking not eating like I mean yeah we're eating good okay, we're eating good but we're not like over over eating we're like maintenance yeah because yeah I haven't I haven't gained anything too that's good which is that's great good. that's good which I was like Chicago I wish we had one more slice of pizza but, yeah like I didn't get that satisfied pizza thing but hey. 
Gotta go back and see the two ferns, man. I love. I, well, guys, that's for another trip. I love those guys, man. They're, they're those guys, guys are heroes. Yeah, those guys are awesome, man. Um, so number day number two was the hike. Yep. We had breakfast. We did tacos. one hike before they left. We did the breakfast yep. tacos. Those breakfast were tacos. really good. Mm -hmm. And then they rolled out from there. Yep. And then. And then we did the other like. Like an additional hike. Where oh we yeah, saw then the we turned waterfalls. Around. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, hot. we did one and two. Yeah. That's right. That was we drove hot. to another spot. That was hot. Yeah, yeah. That was very hot. And then we get the one of the best photos ever. <laughs> <laughs> Later that day. <laughs> it's uh, I'm in. Okay, so we were like, all right, I'm got. Whenever there's water, I'm trying to go in it. That's just me as a person. Now. Nobody else wanted to go except for Nikki. Then Nikki was like, "I'll go." Then Slappy's like, "Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna not go. I'm yeah. not, not gonna go. I'm, I'm not, not. Yeah, I'm not, not gonna go if my wife's not going. So she's going, he's going, and then Brock's like, "Okay, I'll go." And it was pretty cold until you get in, you know, and then you're fine. Yeah. But there's a picture. I saw Joe was taking a picture, so I flexed, and then I started laughing because I saw, because there was another guy at the dock. There was a there was a bunch of docks. Uh, and the guy at the dock started flexing too. He's like, "Yeah, no way." And I, that's why I started laughing. Oh, and like I totally missed that. Yeah, I started laughing and, and flexing, and uh, and that's when you got me when you got the picture. Oh, I'm so mad I didn't get that. Yeah, yeah, he was. You know what's funny is I can see you. Okay, wait. So this is actually even funnier. Oh yeah, I'm looking at him. Cause, and then you look over perfectly. Yeah, because I was flexing, and I looked at him, <laughs> and he ruined my flex, and then and then I just kept flexing. <laughs> and Brock's, <laughs> and Brock's like, cold as hell. <laughs> Brock's literally, his hands are together like this. Like, ooh, it's cold. Uh, that was great. There was a, like, telephone pole size, like, telephone pole in there. It what? Was in, yeah. Where? Like, this size telephone pole. In the lake? Yeah, yeah. Wooden telephone. Wood. What? The well, I'm saying telephone pole, but it was a lot. Wooden, it was one of these, man. <laughs> a utility <laughs> pole? Yeah. What? It the? Like it was crazy, but it was it was actually like probably two times as thick as that. Wow. As thick as that, because I thought I was going on a rock, and then like for a rock, like when I'm going backwards, usually I just can like high knee over it. Yeah. This one, mm -hmm. I literally I couldn't. Like I was high kneeing, and then like the roundness was <laughs> around my hamstring. I'm like, what the heck is this? I look down, it's one of these. My like, holy crap. That's crazy. It, I was like, when did this go down? And what the heck? Why they have, haven't they removed it? Because we weren't even past the dock line. No. And that was just there. I was like, oof. Seems a little dangerous. <laughs> That's what I thought too, yeah. Freaking dangerous. Well, you guys. But that was nice. So I went in with my socks and my. Oh my God, your boots. Yeah, so Slappy wouldn't give me his Crocs. And I forgot my Crocs. I, I didn't bring these. I brought my winter ones. So, mistake on my part, but then Slappy was like, no, I'm not giving you my Crocs. <laughs> I don't know why, but he was very adamant about it. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go in with my <laughs> shoes. So I just went in with my, I could've taken the socks off, but I was like, whatever, dude, I'll just wear the socks and the shoes, whatever. Yeah. And they were absolutely soaked. But hey, my feet were completely protected. Very good. So Carrie said, it's for the shock factor. I'm like, yeah, I guess it so. It was a big reason <laughs> I didn't go in, cause- You didn't have shoes? Yeah. I gotta I get got water shoes. shoes. Mm -hmm. Now I have water shoes. <laughs> I forget. I'm just gonna use those as my water. No, not even these. I'm just gonna use those trail shoes as my water shoes now. <laughs> <clears throat> forget about it. Excuse me? Forget about it. Those it, are my designated water shoes now. All water. Those are they shoes. dried out? Yeah, yeah, they're dried out. They probably smell though. The problem, okay, so the trick to get the water smell out when, you're so, when your shoes get soaked is stuff them with newspaper. Mm -hmm. Always works. Didn't have any newspaper. I hope it worked. I hope they're fine now. Hmm. They're just away. Yeah. So okay. hopefully they're yeah. okay. A little or odor absorbed. I gotta get those balls. Were you telling me about those balls? Or was no. your brother telling me about those balls? My brother. M my brother most definitely would talk about those. Okay. Because I've always, he's always had them. Holy fuck. Was he talking to him? Was he I telling, was telling you at him, the party? Yeah, well, I was talking about the newspaper trick, and he was like, I've never done that. I always use the balls. I'm like, ah! that's a good idea. Hmm. Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah. Well, the thing about those balls is I feel like they never are strong enough. I need to put, like, in one of my shoes, I need to put, like, four. Yeah. Like, I think two you, never works, or one never works. 
I think you can get like reusable balls where you could like Yeah, you put the thing in there? The powder in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I need four, that's what I'm saying. All for these boots, huh? Do, how many pair of boots you got? I, those are my only trail shoes. I have my winter vans, but I wouldn't take those on trail. Um, so I you're going to use those still for trail walking, but you're going to then go into water? No, no, no. Those are just water shoes now. I'm going to get boots. You need new, yeah, you're going to get new well, trail shoes? Well, I need shoes? to. I need to. I'm boots. either going to get Mer Merrells, which is what those shoes are, which yeah. I really like. Um, but I'm going to try to find the lightest weight. So, like, I get, especially with, like, trails, I get soreness here shin splint and top of foot i don't really get it on the heel or my back or anything okay or back of my foot or anything so i need something that's lightweight to kind of prevent Lift. that yeah because even when i got so a couple years ago when i got oh man not a couple years ago probably five years ago now holy crap when i got oh, more than that when i got my first pair of cowboy boots like they're you know quite heavy mm -hmm. especially if you don't wear them often and you don't wear heavy boots, and these are just sore as hell. Same with all my heavy shoes. So I know that I need to go with the lightest option. Cause like nothing's really waterproof unless you're wearing like uh, like a wetsuit or something. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm not really worried about that. So I just need lightweight. That's all. Well, so those trail shoes that you had, were mm -hmm. they supposed to be waterproof? No, no, no. Okay. Those were just, well, those are like for like Texas type climate, mm. arid climate, stuff like that. Mm. Um, which were great in Texas, but now I'm here. I think I'm gonna get boots. I might get the Solomon boots like you. I just gotta see how they fit me because we have completely different feet, so I just gotta check them out. You can always try mine on. I don't know. Um, wow. Now you're a 10, right? I'm too small, yeah. You might hurt yeah. you. <laughs> no, they're <laughs> not gonna Give you the wrong fit. idea, yeah. No, I'm but I like Solomon. You're 11? Yeah, yeah. I st I'm still got like two and a half. Yeah. It's gonna be too tight. Cause yours are kind of, they fit tight, right? But they loot, like when you're walking. Yeah, they're nice. I, mm -hmm. I freaking love those, dude. They look, they look they're extremely comfortable. So comfortable. Yeah. You wore them camp, yeah. right? Yeah, all, dude, they look awesome. Camp. Yeah. yeah. I, I think I'm gonna do the same. I definitely, I like low. All from that one place. That place is great. Yeah, Gear for Adventure, shout yeah. out. Gear for Adventure at the end of Maple. Check and, them out. What is it, Maple and Niagara Falls Boulevard? Yeah. Right? Maple Niagara Falls Boulevard before, between the Premier Liquor and Red Pepper Chinese. Oh. Oh, baby. Next month, we'll, yeah. we'll get some. We got to go. Yeah, this month, we tapped out. Yeah. We tapped out. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to go. I'll go talk to our guy. And be like, yo, look. Because I, I know what I need, but, he, you know, he hikes every mm -hmm. weekend, I think. So he he has way more experience. So... He knows what he's talking about. You know it. Yeah. I, th I like Solomon, though. I've always liked... The, I've never had any Solomon, but I've always liked the look. I've liked... I like how, like, the midsole's pretty big as well, Like, it, but it still tapers. Like, I like all that about Solomon. Because Merrells are just, like, big and clunky, which they're great, and I love them, but I wonder if there's just something better. Hmm. Yeah. I wonder if there's something there's, better. There's so many options out there. So That's the many, problem. Dude. Yeah. Because, like, I want to go for, like, a lightweight version but like, I definitely want the structure. So that's like a very specific ask. So he'll hmm. probably have a good idea. Yeah. He's always got good ideas. What does Mark wear? Does he wear the same things? He was, I think he suggested the Solomons actually. Yeah. And then the other guy did too. Mm -hmm. um, he might, why can I ask? The Solomons? Call him up. Let's call him right now. Sure, hey, right yo. Now. Boys, forget about this. We ain't getting on games. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, we talked to Mark during the trip, too. Yeah. Oh, man. Guy was pumped for us. Wished he was there. Dude, he should have been there. We'll get you there He's got, yeah, you got to come next time, man. Let's come on, come on, Mark. Come on, baby. This is the best picture. <laughs> the, this embodies Mark. Every time you see it. So much. It's Just the smirk. Imposing. Hammer, oh. you, you are, uh, we are live on the podcast right now. I was oh. one, we're talking about gear right now. Here's Joey. Say hi to Joey. Yo, yo, what's up, cuz? What's up? Yeah, what are you up to? You got a minute? Yes, sir. Talk to me. I'm talking about I need some new hiking boots, and I thought that you would wear the same ones that Joey got. What do you wear? Are you digging these Solomons? I got the uh, La Sportiva. Oh, climbing brand. Nice. Huh. La Sportiva, you got the midsole? Yeah, definitely mid. Because my ankles, my feet naturally roll out. So 
I've always been prone to uh, rolling my your ankle outward, rolling my ankle. So always, 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 always go with a uh, at least a med salt. Nice. Or a, uh, you know, med height. Nice, nice. Because I just. Uh, what we're talking about is I just trashed my Merrells. I use them as water shoes in the lake, and I need to upgrade. So um, those are my now designated water shoes. So now I need to upgrade to a boot. <laughs> yeah, oh good. I mean, especially uh, where were you in Lake 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 Seneca? Seneca, or Seneca? Lake. Seneca Lake. <laughs> yeah. Seneca Lake or Lake Seneca? We don't know. Which okay, one is at least it, at least it's. Uh, a cleaner lake That's for sure It was very clean Yeah Yeah it was It was pretty crystal It was alright We didn't know I didn't know that there was 11 11 of these finger lakes Not so many other lakes In New York I'll tell you that <laughs> <laughs> Alright well that, Hey link me on those shoes Real quick Can you get a minute Yeah I will um, I don't know the exact name of them But Honestly Absolutely love them man. Yeah I mean I love Any, any climbing brand Is usually pretty good So yeah, but link those if you have a minute. Good shit, good shit. Yeah. All right, Doc, we're going to get back to it because we're getting hungry. we got to wrap this up. Yeah, call me after. Will do, will right, do. Doc. Later, boys. Love you, man. Love you, buddy. See ya. See ya. See ya. Oh, man's nice. always ready to talk about gear. Yeah, he... Dude, <laughs> the other day we talked about... I think we talked for like two hours about like... A car that he didn't have and setting it up <laughs> like an SUV or something like what he wants to get next and we just talked about like all right we want this and this and there and this and there I respect oh, that man, dude. I honestly he's the only person I can really get to the nitty-gritty with about gear him and Hayden sorry him and Hayden we could talk about nitty nitty-gritty I just can't do it over the phone I, like, I love I, it, talking on the phone so tough I went Saturday yep we went Sunday. Saturday. Sunday. Sunday night, we, we saw the water again. It was still as hell. That was insane. That's when we went nuts, right? Yeah. Sunday was a nuts night. Yeah. We oh, friggin' yeah. partied hard. Oh, yeah, Sunday. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sunday, Sunday night, Joe gained another friggin' nickname. This, the, 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 the python? Viper. The oh, the viper. viper. The viper. <laughs> Joe, Joe gained another nickname. Joe is <laughs> quickly, in this, I mean, honestly, in the past six months of this year, which is not six months has <laughs> passed of, <laughs> of uh, 2024, um, Joe has gained like two or three nicknames. Too many nicknames. Yeah, honestly, I don't have any space in my phone to write. I, right now, I got Joey on white, I think. Mm. Let me see. Joey Viper. I got Joey, Joey on white. Dude, there's too many. Yeah, there's too many. I got to figure this out. Mm. Joey on white, Joey on Joey on Camel Whack. Camel Whack. Because <laughs> he always gets Camel Whack. Joey on Camel Whack. Good stuff. That's good stuff. <laughs> Joey on white. Joey on... Uh, which one? Oh, the Viper. The Viper. What else? Chicago, the uh... Joey, the bag fumbler. Yeah. No, no, that's. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> no, Joe goes. No thanks. <laughs> um, oh no. No, no. That I mean, there's there's more, but I can't remember. It's too many. Um. So yeah, Saturday was the first. Sunday we went. We had a good time. I think. Sa okay. Sunday. And then Monday we drove back. Right. Yeah, yeah, Monday midday. What was it shorter Monday we, than oh, I remember? We went into the goose butter. The goose, what's it called? Uh, duck, no, duck. duck milk. I have it still in my. Oh, dude, you got to try it. Actually, there's a little left yeah, of down, the cinnamon stick. You got to try it. It's butter. What was it? Duck <laughs> butter. Duck milk. Duck milk ice cream. Wow. I'm butchering it. What is it called? It was duck eggs. I thought. <sighs> Duck egg. Duck? Or goose? What, do you remember what the place is called? I don't remember. <sighs> I gotta go look at I'd have Duck to go look egg at the, ice it, the container is in there. It, it'll tell us. New York. I just can't think. Spotted duck. Spotted duck. Farm fresh. Here we go. I'll read about it. About. Nested in the heart of the Finger Lakes. Dude, it won. It's the winner of the best ice cream in upstate New York. Wow. Wow. Uh, duck, 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 nest, uh, three dozen of different ducks. Our ducks, while there are dozens of different breeds, our favorite are Ancona and a Kiki. A I don't even know. Kakai? Campbell? Did you know ducks do not lay eggs every day like chickens? Most ducks lay three to five eggs a week. Our eggs. Okay, so it's duck. 
Ice cream versus custard. All frozen custard is ice cream, but not ice cream is custard. What's the difference? Custard tends to have a higher content of milk, fat, egg yolk, and therefore protein. That makes sense. <laughs> okay. Uh, we want to talk about your ice cream. There's too much. I need to contact them and tell them that they need to put about their ice cream a bit sooner. I don't care about this rest of this. It's true. It's true. Okay. So it's duck egg ice cream. And it's incredible. It's honestly some of the best ice cream I've had. I, I would say it's top 10 ice creams I've had. The best ice cream I've had was in Cleveland, Ohio at their farmer's market. Usually the other farmer's markets downtown. There's an ice cream. What are ice cream places called? Creameries? Ice creameries? Whatever. To the left. It's beautiful. It's like a modern looking place. It was the best ice cream I've ever had. It was blueberry cheesecake. Wow. It's, that I, does it's, sound really good actually. Shit. And... It's better than every single ice cream I had in France. And France is known for like decent ice cream, gelatos and whatever. Hmm. It wasn't even close to that. This place was so like creamy. Mm. It was so good. It like, was incredible. Smooth. It honestly was that ice cream at the duck, Spotted Duck. Shout out to Spotted Duck. <sighs> you did good. You did good. We, what did we get? We had the flight with... We had, yeah, they had a flight right? of ice cream. <laughs> Which was, was like the perfect amount, honestly. Yeah, it was. They had vanilla. Mm. That was good. I love that. They had a peanut butter one that was good. I got the cinnamon the, sticks good. You got you got vanilla. Did you get coffee? Mm, yes, that was good. Coffee was crazy. So good. good. Yeah, coffee was good. Vanilla coffee and what was the other two you got? <sighs> I wish I took a picture of that stuff, dude. Yeah, I that's one thing I didn't I screwed take a picture up. of. Yeah, I got vanilla, which was incredible. They deliver, right, Juan? Do they really? Oh, we get it right now. <laughs> Vanilla. It'll take. They're like, it'll be here in two, three hours. Um, I got vanilla with with the uh, blueberry sauce on it, and I was kind of scared that the blueberry sauce would be too sweet because a lot of places add sugar to it. They didn't add sugar. They just let the natural sweetness Chocolate. of the blueberries. Oh yeah. Chocolate. <laughs> Chocolate's really good. The, the vanilla, the chocolate, mm -hmm. the blueberry drussel. Uh, oh yeah. That's what I almost got, but oh I did this, and so I put the I got the vanilla and I put the blueberry sauce on it, which was amazing, sweet and sour. Ooh. Cinnamon stick. Yeah, I got that. I got um, coffee, which was insanely good. Mm. <laughs> Cooking cream, I think, was mm. the other one too. That was a good one. The, all of them were good. Even so the good. like the cinnamon stick's not my favorite, but dang, I could eat it. It was good. It's really good. Really good. Um, so that was it, and then we rolled out from there. It was sad. I was sad that I didn't sad. see any ducklings. You didn't see them? I didn't see ducklings. I just saw ducks. Oh, I just saw the ducks. Yeah. Well, because all the ducklings are not being born. They're using them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we rolled out. Yeah, it was kind of, it's kind of sad. That was a good trip. It's a quick trip. It was sad at the end. Same. It was a repeat with Chicago. It was so sad at the end of Chicago. But I'll talk more about that later. Yeah. So uh, let us know about your camping trips. We're getting kind of hungry. At least I am. I'm pretty Dude, hungry, I mean, dude. we, we got to go pick up the pizza. Too. Yeah, we got to go eat. Yeah. Um, so It was a good conversation, though. Hey, thanks for camping. Go tripping. Yeah, go, go, go camping. Yeah, <laughs> if you don't, have you never been camping, go glamping, you know? Bring your whatever, your TV and whatever, and slowly get out there and slowly reduce your, your, um, your technology. And then slowly you'll be there just with your phone. We just got a, a campsite at Hershey. For the end of July, me and my family actually. What the heck is Hershey? Hershey, uh, Pennsylvania. So it's oh, like Hershey Park. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So nice. It'll be interesting. We're doing a cabin. Oh yeah, a cabin more. camping's good, man. Yeah. It's you get to worry about less and enjoy more a little bit. I'm you excited. Know? That's good shit. So camp as much as you can because hey. it is it is good for the brain. Yeah, get outside as much as you can. Honestly, even in your get daily. Get off social media. Yeah, get off social media. Except for Will Pod. Yeah, except for Will Pod, Will Travel, Will Massey, Glitching Hour, Master Massey Instagram, Glitching Hour Instagram. It's all good Glitching for Hour you. TikTok. Yeah. It's all in the description down below. Yeah. We put a lot of work into this. And if you want to be entertained, go check out all the channels and do it while you're on your daily walk outside. Joe. Good shit. Dog. Peace. Hey, if you enjoyed that video, click one of these other suggested videos and take another deep dive into your daily conversation.